2022 Christmas Village Food Tutorial Series A three ring circus under a steampunk dome? Check! Circus figurines? Check! A circus entrance? Almost there, but also check! And then? And then nothing else But a circus Without a stance, without a props It's loose, it's purpose I need all of those items, not just the figurines to be placed here and there, and this alone, no. And that's the reason of my eye bags, more than usual eye bags, because I spent <laughs> entirely all the nights of the past week modeling some props and some stands and some tents for the circus. Limax, Lemax, Department 56 and so on, they don't have them on catalog, at least they add them on catalog, but they are now very, very rare items. The only solution is to model them myself and to add them to my layout. I know, some more time to spend on a schedule that is at least five to six months behind the schedule but that was a necessity that was a must i can't avoid i will show you the results in the final recap it's simply some something that i printed on my filament 3d printer i, I can't do them on by end sorry because they are too complex geometry to be modeled uh, from uh, a 9mm thick sheet of styrofoam so 3D printing but this is also steampunk I can't avoid printing something yes, Circus is not a steampunk but where do you find nowadays stands, props, ticket boots for a Circus? Nowhere, guys, but I can be wrong, sure. But I, I haven't found them, at least not at a reasonable price. Uh, the mysterious building is, is about to come to an end. The, the, the task <laughs> I'm talking about not the building itself, otherwise, it will collapse on itself, and then, and then the stair here. I also model a stair. Maybe you are hearing in the background the sound of my filament 3D printer that is actually printing some elements for this new panoramic stair. Very steampunk. Also, I will not be able to show you um, the stair right now, right on this part uh, 15, because I still have at least 15 more hours to print but it's metallic, it will be metallic, it will be steampunk and it will also be modular, guys. Surprise, big surprise. So let's get to work with the, um, with the mysterious building and then the circus gate that must be finished by this part, by the end of this part, 15. Sorry for my English, guys. Now, let's try to complete the circus entrance here I will work on the container this will be the front side this will be the back side front side with the radio a hole and then back side this one but first let me have a quick full recap on what I will be using so this big monster, you haven't seen it during last part 14, you have seen this one. I will frighten you with noise and shocking sparks. This is 50k 
kV, 50,000 volt, 50 kilovolts. This big brother here is 800 kV. Let me start from the big one. The big one here. <clears throat> and this is always and will always frighten me also when I test it because it is so noisy, so loud. Okay, let me have the AC adapter with 4.5 volts in. Enough, guys. Very, very, very noisy. Okay, very frightening, very scary. Now, bye bye. This is a real weapon, guys. 50 kV. You have already seen me experimenting with it. Okay. All same voltage, 4.5 volts. Nope. This is not bent correctly. Okay. The arc is noisy, is loud, shorter in length, but still a very powerful arc between the two poles there. 50 kV. Good. Bye bye. And you have seen me using. The one that is normally used in classroom to experiment on high voltages. So noisy with a little small arc, purple arc. When I don't have an arc, it's very noisy, okay? Okay, so, in the meantime, I received, I was delivered with this little cube here, okay, this is for um, 20 kV, 20 thousand volts, so, 10,000 volts more than this one. It is encased, it's protected by some hot glue, okay? I have simply attached the connector here. Let's try this one. This is 3.6 volts, so I will need to step down the voltage here from 4.5 to 3 volts, okay, sorry, maybe you haven't seen, but now it's to 3 volts, the arrow is pointing towards 3 volts, before it was at 4.5 volts. Let me plug in the AC adapter, let me go right and left 
let me plug in the AC adapter and it's not that noisy let's check the arc hope you can see that you have a purple arc longer, bigger than the previous one bigger than the arc generated by this little guy here okay, big, little, big, yes, big guy here with absolutely almost no noise at all and the arc can be short or long and it makes a sound when it generates the arc, the purple arc Okay, it's, it ionizes also the air and it smells also when you're running now. So, obviously, I will go with this one. More powerful than this noisy little guy here, but this was designed 40, 50 years ago with the first transistors put on the market by that time, okay, now all is miniaturized and you can maybe see that you have also in here the same here I covered the transformer, the transformer, okay, and it was like this before, this was broke, so uh, the coils are not perfectly done so it was not working at all it happens in kids developed for high school purpose for teaching purpose that nothing is absolutely perfect but you can see maybe that inside here you have the form here protruding here with the um, uh, with uh, the wires here getting out from the hot glue black hot glue in this case and it is like having this side here or this side here a little smaller okay but inside this you have this component plus all other components you have here but miniaturized I will go <coughs> with this little cube here input is colored wires red and green in this case it they can be blue and red so but the output is always on the same color wires colored wires okay but the input here I will modify the input because I will need to add the switch the same switch I have here that here is, in, is connected is soldered onto a PCB board but I can do the same uh, without a PCB board one of the two wires will be interrupted <laughs> by the switch that is also an inter interrupter on and off um, connected or disconnected and it will prevent the electricity to go straight into the transformer here the stepper up here the inverter if you prefer uh, so I will prepare this little um, switch here that will be placed in the back here far as far as I can from the top East Coast always in me Commonwealth no joke getting love from my city I roll call for the DMV in my own lane you could still ride with me no knows I mean mistakes you won't end but it's too late I don't need your support just to know I'm important that won't ever 
tell myself short Cause I know you'll see me on the come up Big girl with big dreams and big drip Talk is cheap but please dare me to run up I'ma put my money where my mouth is Talk a good game, I'm out for pay
Okay, half an hour of experiment there. Those were the original wires I had in here. Okay, those are two millimeters of wires, but uh, uh, of the, in diameter, obviously. But uh, those here are now one millimeters in diameter. Why I need uh, thinner um, wires because they are much more bendable. Those ones were absolutely hell to bend and couldn't get the correct angle with the, those ones. So I went with these new ones that are thinner, but I can bend them how I want. So let's test this. Let's test this. For now I will fix the cover like this before getting it painted and everything else. Okay, now I am switching it on and let's see, maybe I can show you and the arc is forming and climbing. Once the two wires get hot, I hope you can see through the camera. I don't know if you can see, but getting there, maybe you can see. Let's facilitate the arc there. Let's have some magnets like that. And voila, the arc is very fast right now. And it goes up. Uh, maybe during my final recap it will be more visible because right now this needs to be a vertical, perfectly vertical. No, oh, one last thing. I will come closer and let you see from the eight. Maybe you will see better like that. And you are seeing the arc climbing up and getting bigger and bigger like that. Okay, yes, now it is visible. Mysterious building. Still mysterious, but not for a very long time. Um, I'm starting from the back there. I have glued together the floor, the pavement of level 1 with the back of level 0 there. And then apply the some big long pins, the same I use it for the new balusters in the very early stages of this new series, this new 2022 series. And I'm going here towards. I will do something to that. The, that wall there, those two white um, walls, I don't like them because if I watch through this window here, I can see that I have some meshes that with the uh, water contained in the PVC glue have rusted a little bit, so I don't like them, and too white. I'm going with some black grey or light um, black painting, but... Uh, and I will do that. But first of all, let me introduce I've done a lot of printing this week. Sleepless week. The private of sleep. I've been on the week the private of sleep, but here we go. This is a new little baluster. Let me go this way. Let me get towards the camera. Okay. I model this as Victorian as a steampunk as possible. Still need to paint it and clean it a little more. But this is top here with the handrail, bottom here and the terminal column, squared column there. This is modeled simply with a, um, a profile 
revolving around the central axe, okay? And very easily done, just four minutes of modeling, then repeating everything and then adding the railing. But this will help me getting people there not falling down the stairs. This will, I will add it there, okay, like that. I've uh, placed uh, some uh, borders around the uh, windows and then uh, marked uh, some uh, bricks, uh, my standard bricks uh, with my pencil on the walls. Very roughly done, but this is just for perspective when you look from the outside side, outside from the sides. Okay, now um, this said. Let's have this lid. I don't. I will not prime it. Okay, no, no need to prime it. And let's try to get some uh, some color to it.
having printed this uh, with the filament printer, I get I have layers, horizontal layers, one on top of the other. So, what going only in one direction with the clearest uh, sienna brown there, it kind of generate a little texture on the on the railings, on the baluster, and everything else, even here. So some dark shadows, dark brown as the wood, but also some clearest brown, like that. So it gives uh, two kind, two shades and a shining effect to this little wood, but because it also shine a little bit, as would be an old wood, an old end rail, an old wood end rail used by dozens of years of passing through. So this is done. Okay, I think it's good. And if you look through the lateral windows there, you get the walls, some gray and some black and some, oh, sorry for the camera guys, sorry. And some white, even from this side, okay? No more white. And I also added some gray to this wall here, light gray. Good. Uh, now, 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 let's glue the, the handrail, okay? One wall left, but I will also have another level, another store in the, in the middle of this wall here. And this will be like that, guys. Okay, like that. But is there something else? I think so. I also printed this little balusters here that will go there like that okay uh, obviously this is the same as the as I did for this uh, little handrail here the same design, I will show you the design guys, like that, okay, so it is, has the same profile, but here it doesn't touch the wall because I will need the people to get from downstairs up, 
So I will need the people getting us access to this little level here through a stair that will be here. So I will need access. Obviously, I will add some uh, columns underneath it. And by few chances, guys, because as you can see, I've just printed this out and also cut this. The center here, the center here of what I've glued down to the pavement is here vertically to the point here to the to, um, to the uh, far side of the this little balcony so it's symmetrical guys i didn't expect that because you have seen that this is yes calculated this is yes designed on a computer but it is also handmade so some glitch may happen in this case it didn't happen any glitch and uh, I will proceed pattern here, another wall, bluish darkest in order to get the wall from the distance visible.
for that feeling Why did it have to go away? I long for that feeling Okay, I can show you the background there, the wall. It's not that bad, guys. With the platform there, the the third uh, story, the third level there. Okay, here is the internal stairs. Let's hope to have 4.5 centimeters here. Let's check. gaskets and my PVC tube, 8 millimeters diameter PVC tube. There here and it's almost dry. Let's talk about the back here. I have two centimeters here that needs to be sustained by something. So I cut these three pieces there that are 9 millimeters by 9 millimeters and 2 millimeters total 2 centimeters okay i will glue this together
this will be placed uh, oops in here to sustain the little mini 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 balcony okay, okay the so same thing for this part here that I will not glue because otherwise I won't be able to do the rest but this is there and like that and uh, I will have some uh, columns also in here I will go that way and I will have one, two, three, four columns. Time's been moving slowly, so we are ready in two. This is the back with the columns. Now I will need to wait for some minutes before uh, applying some painting here too. Uh, otherwise these will be inaccessible from the inside. And I will be painting that, I don't know, maybe gray, maybe black. I still don't know. So this is the front. This is the back, columns there. Let's do the same work with the support here. And this is the cut at 45 degrees, okay? And so now, I will be able to put and glue it there, like that. Baby, don't stop. Got the key to the lock. We in our own zone. Make yourself at home. Get to know mine on the inside. Can meet a joy. Good. Done, 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 done. Okay, also this is done. And this will be somewhere like that. Yes.
still to complete the fireplace, two lights, at least two lights, two uh, wall torches, and uh, okay, let's have a little pause here. Good, now I did a little work off camera, I painted the art there with some grey and then some black as the bricks should be, um, should be. And then from the outside too, a little dry brush, white dry brush on the stone here. And also here, this is lighter because this is outside. So it is supposed to be freezing cold and so water tends to become icy, even humidity tends to become icy. Inside is a little darker. Here I have painted roughly with some black because this is dirty. And this is supposed to be the fireplace that I would add like that. So the back is supposed to be as black as possible. Okay. And this will be put there. Maybe it's the opposite. Let me check. No, it's correct. Like like this and glue there but like that and then four holes one two three four for the wall torches guys uh, I still have them and you know how I built them so I will start by adding the torch walls the wall torches sorry guys Last thing to do is the roof. The walls, the little walls around the balcony and then the bricks, the outside bricks. And this will be done. The doors are ready, but I will place them one, two, three, four doors are ready. I will place them lately as the two braziers there. Let me check how many wires, I have a bunch of wires, but I will hide them 
behind the bricks, guys. Okay, behind the bricks. The roof will be composed by those elements here, but I forgot the stair, guys. The internal stair. I must finish. And you can reach much I was saying those four pieces will compose the roof, guys. One like that, one like that. I must cut, obviously, and to have exactly where I need them to be. I will not add simply this as a roof. No, I don't like it. I want real tiles. And I also forget to place the balcony and railings on the back. New technique guys. I will use this for the roof. This is modeling clay. Air drying modeling clay. Pure white modeling clay yes but ow i also have this little thing guys this is a roller i made with some patterns like some uh, tiles some roof tiles and i don't know if it's no i will able to use it twice okay I will have to use it twice, starting from a border like this, and then getting over. I could use this on the styrofoam, I can show you on a little piece I have here, that if I use this on styrofoam, I also get a pattern, but it's not as uh, uh, soft as the clay, so I will simply have the vertical, the vertical one, okay, and not the depth, I will not have the depth, but first time I will be using this little thing on some modeling clay. Okay guys, uh, it's done, obviously I cannot uh, assemble this right now because the clay needs to dry out at least 24 hours, it's very heavy, but when it will be um, dried it will be stiff hard, okay, so no bending problem, no more bending problems. 
and then uh, the roof I mark at the left and right because they are not symmetrical but they are specular so that's why I had to redo it twice because they are specular and not symmetrical obviously they are from one side and from the other instead this one they are all vertical um, I will not try to they, they have some imperfections guys but as and the roof will have this is the part that will be towards the top of the roof so with a different angle uh, these two okay will be at the top of the roof some imperfections but this was this is an ancient building um, obviously I could have done a longer roller because this is too short but then if I was gone if I decided to go longer it will have uh, not followed a straight path but it tends to to um, to do an art as everything is a circular stem to do okay uh, that's all for this part let's do something concerning the uh, the circus gate guys well it's time to paint the circus gate uh, what I did here I okay I uh, assembled the legs here for this big container and the end parts that will keep the circus Um, post there okay completely uh, safe and in place like that but uh, and also I glued the neodymium magnet there big problem the colors the colors the colors uh, the container is the most problematic color this needs to be aggressive color the uh, letters need to be aggressive um, red yellow not blue not green not one color for a single letter that will distract uh, gold copper red yellow uh, i think are the best suited colors i will go uh, with red I think then maybe I will add some copper here and there or some bronze here and there and uh, do a, best, a, a good effort I will go with some brilliant red uh, with some uh, not too dark and not too light but mix it with some um, silver iridescent iridescent silver color i want this to be as metallic as possible i can't wait don't want to spend a minute without you i know you feel the same so come on give me love i'ma show you how to move how to move with my body come hit me with your touch and make me want to say damn and yeah you know what's up Red with iridescent really silver, but I will add uh, something else. I will let this dry for a moment, and I think I will go with primary blue on the container here. I don't want black. Vivid colors, yes, then the coils, obviously, copper the coils. Okay, let's go. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body So give me all you got right now I know I'm Okay, while the big stand is drying Let's add some color here uh, Copper is not enough for contrast between red and uh, 
with, with red, sorry. So I will go with bronze, that it is somehow um, much more goldish, okay? And I will do first the base here. Okay, bronze, yes. Red, yes, but let's try to get this a little switched on with some gold. Let's see if I can switch this on. Final recap of part 15 and I'm gonna start from this corner here and the mysterious building. It's complete guys, yes, the roof is still missing but it's simply a matter of assembling four pieces of uh, styrofoam. So I will show you the final result, I will not show you uh, how I place the bricks and paint it but next time you will see it complete absolutely done and i can show you the inside once again with the little uh, zerd uh, level zerd story there and the stairs that get access to it with the uh, wall torches one two three and four uh, i forgot to show you on camera the second uh, balusters I added this one for the little mini two centimeters balcony back balcony there with the arcs with the arcs etc those wires will be hidden behind the bricks as I told you and the mysterious building is done guys yes four hours of gluing bricks and painting but it's nothing uh, I don't know, maybe it's not as good as I thought. Oh, by the way, the roof is on the flat surface back there, waiting for the clay, the modeling clay to, to dry out. 24 hours at least, that's when you work with old materials, guys. But this is, from each angle, the uh, mysterious building in... It's magnificent. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Not yet magnificency, but it's going where I wanted it to go. And from, as I told you, the column there is in plain middle of the back there. I, I can show you right from the entrance and fireplace and from this side the oops uh, the stairs that can get on focus but they are there okay uh, from the closest view from the window is this one from this side And from the other side, it is like that. And, and so on from here, you can see the other entrance when the lights are on, you can see through the gallery there, the, the wall torches and the fireplaces. Good. Good, good. Uh, this will be completed when I will add one wall torch here, one wall torch there, two wall torches, and two also from the outside here. And that's all, guys. Bricks, you already know my technique of applying bricks because you have seen me doing that on the first level there. The braziers are ready, I will place them there, glue them, um, 
make two holes for drill two holes for the wires then they will go under everything uh, i will not show you the final process you will see this as a surprise when part 16 will begin next week and instead of having the gathering because in part 16 i always have the gathering I will not have the gathering. Here I prepared the, um, Mr. Um, Madame Zaza, as you may uh, remember from my figurines, the fortune teller, and I will use her to show you the props in just some seconds. But this is with the, her big uh, ruby uh, ring and the the stone power on the front, on his, on her forehead, the giant um, crystal ball. And she is a, a Gitana, yes, of course. And Madame Zaza will be showing you something. The gate, guys, from the back. And from the front, guys. I decided to go with also some gold to light up the circus there. Okay, so it's lighted up with the gold. I used the gold on the caps, on the final caps, and every time I have a join, uh, a joint section, and the pipes are completely red, but the joint section and the T section here on the R, the tick section, etc. And the final caps are uh, gold. Then bronze for the arc, also the terminal part is bronze. In plain front, you have the giant gear, the giant cog, gold. The bolt uh, is copper as the giant coils there. And that's the big circus entry i still miss some props but i will show you some of them in just some seconds this will be the entry the printer is still printing the modular uh, stair that will be here it will go up turn and then up and then turn again and get access to the uh, to the circus uh, gate so uh, up from the outside, then up uh, up once again from the inside, then turn, then get under there. Uh, pure steampunk, pure mechanic, pure industrial design, guys. You don't believe me? Just wait for part 16. Uh, yes, you are wondering, will he show... Oops, sorry, guys camera will he show us uh, maybe I will go this way because I have it's better if I go this way but here we go this guys is called a Jacob's ladder why a ladder because the sparks tend to climb up the two uh, copper roads there uh, simulating a, a ladder so a Jacob's ladder made from high voltage arcs hope you will see it I will switch it on boom <laughs> sorry guys I still need to fix this because it's very heavy so let's go and you have the arc that is climbing in the back. Each time is going faster and faster. And this is the effect I wanted for a steam punk circus entry circus. Okay, bluff, bluff. Maybe I will show you in plain dark what is the effect. Okay, pure darkness, guys. I will switch on. And I think you are seeing it 
in plain dark going up like that purple arc climbing the two roads I know it's not in plain dark but this is uh, let me switch off because it's not intended to work constantly. Let me switch a little light on. Yes, this is almost evening and let's switch on. And it climbs up. This is the effect I wanted, guys. Okay, enough guys. Uh, I still need to fix something here and there, but no problem. Let me switch on once again all the lights. Like that. Now, the props guys. I've told you many times during this part 15 that I work and intensely on designing some new props and something new for the circus there. Uh, Jay and Madame Zaza are there. For Madame Zaza, I thought Gitana, yes, Gitana in Spanish, Gitana. Why don't go with a tent? Okay, so I made this tent, uh, please uh, forgive me if I don't have many uh, flags on top of those uh, props here, but when printing in vertical and having a flag going right and left, it will have meant uh, adding some more supports to get it uh, printed. So I will add uh, flags lately i will print them separately inside is simply a cone guys a cone made by the same principle of the geodesic dome starting from a circle then some uh, standard geometry uh, polygons and then going up and then the roof there and bandabazaza will be in some hour with a tent like that okay and also i told to myself oh, why not having also a little table for madame zaza like that still need to glue it but a wood table wooden table there with the base and then the top here model it quickly maybe with some um, little notice come here i will tell you your future etc 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 this is one of the props i wanted for the uh, circles then why not having a, a ticket boot it's mandatory to have a ticket boot so the shape is that one guys the shape those are modular i can get some other or different uh, uh, roof if I want maybe some conic around the, the roof etc but in this case I went with this with this one here a uh, ticket boot with the little uh, um, spa space for people and it will be placed somewhere near near the the entrance like that maybe i still don't know and still need to add the tickets there the um the 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 right the big stand okay um sorry the big uh, signpost with uh, tickets so um, all the props all the stands risk it to be empty i don't want empty stands so this came out 
10 or no, 15 minutes ago out from the uh, resin printer. A little lady sipping there. And if I went correctly with my measurement, they, she will stand inside the ticket boot like that. And she will be ready to sell you the tickets. This will be maybe attached to the stand with some double-sided tape. Still need to paint it, but hey, I just had time to uh, cure the figurine under the UV lamp. No fit, sorry guys, but I haven't modeled the, uh, the fit there, but this will be flat and inside a boot, so why not having just a lady sitting there in the ticket boot like that then uh, i made a slight modification for another stand here uh, always the same roof always the same but this time i had the, the ability to because this stand to fall down this is was my first design then i encapsulated the, the roof the, on on them but don't worry this will be glued on top of it or added with some uh, double-sided tape so no problems at all when this will be complete but from the second uh, boot the second stand on the, the the roof and the stand itself are encapsulated like this are encapsulated i couldn't get it encapsulated uh, for because i have here the stand the the sign post here not the sign post uh, i have the mm, letter and the ticket letter letters that will be added there so uh, this will not be possible i will glue the table lately and finally the third version of the stands this is the giant stand double roof uh, wider with uh, an open side here and maybe this will be for shoot the duck or shoot the balloons or um, prices or uh, a ring game I don't know yet but the, this is the largest version uh, with these um, those pointy tips here are reserved for the flags for the colored flags for the multicolor flags and i thought about it but this has been printed from the base up plum 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 and with no support at all to get it uh, quickly printed but if i add the flag here going left or right the flag will have be, been printed on pure in plain air and the filament would have gone would have fall down so i w would have uh, needed some uh, some supports and this is too slow to print the flags will be added in a second time guys uh, i still need to print uh, some more figurines to put inside the stands or maybe uh, some other props and I will close with some ba -ba! with some balloons guys uh, this also is printed with the uh, resin printer because I needed it to be uh, cl uh, as clean as possible to be as smooth as possible and this is the first version but once the the mm, the balloons came out from the print, printer, I immediately noticed that the ropes are too thin. They risk to break down. Okay, they are they are bendable. They flapped right now. So I made version number two of the balloons that has thicker ropes, and then also it, they ends with some ropes going up. This is intended to be placed uh, some like that, maybe like that, or along, or here, all along the coils there, 
uh, or in the floor or something uh, or somewhere else but this is more stable the ropes don't flect anymore so i will print some more of these version too because a circus without balloons is like uh, i don't know uh, <laughs> no um, forget it i was making a bad joke right now and it's late not that late but it's late so it will be very 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 overpopulated but the stands maybe also may go from this side too and i can put them as a background two of them one and two one little and one big uh, and so on i still need to plan uh, where everything will go maybe i will uh, print one last um, one last stand and then so many uh, some some other props like crates like uh, like uh, heavy things for my strongman to uh, pull up etc etc uh, a sleepless week but i think it was worth and it's the only way to uh, to go this year um, even if i i still don't think i will be able to finish it in time the magic of some balloons what will be a circus or a carnival without balloons it will surely lose all its magic i must be really crazy but you know that i'm crazy if i spent so many hours modeling and printing all those props knowing that i will never uh, finish this village in time for Christmas. But this section here needed, the, needed those stands, the, the tent, the props, a table and so on. And forgive me if I'm once again very, very, very crazy. The Jacob Ladders, Jacob's Ladder, sorry, is working uh, not very dangerous right now because it's switched off but it's not reachable by anyone and the roads are very very thin so you don't risk to get electrocuted you certainly not because you are there but I will not risk to get electrocuted by high voltage uh, this is starting to be finished no, never, never. Uh, details, uh, props uh, will are sh uh, surely very important. Uh, without forgetting the time I spent modeling the new rails and the new stair, it will be something I've never done before. But who knows what will be your judgment on these things and on the new stairs but it will be for the next part please don't forget to subscribe comment and give big thumbs up thank you for watching thank you for bearing my absolutely awful english and if you wish see you next time bye